So I guess you could say it all began when we met in college. We were both rappers at the time. One day Kevin gives me a call and he's like, Hey man, I've been experimenting with video a lot lately and I just feel like I want to make movies now instead of rap music. And I'm like, that's crazy because I too have been experimenting with video a lot lately and I think that I want to make movies now instead of rap music. And it was on. It was on. So basically we just started making all kinds of videos, just playing around with the format and it didn't matter. We just come up with a random idea and we'd do it. During that time, I had been making these films with my kids called Super Kids, where they essentially just dress up like superheroes and beat the crap out of me. And uh, I started begging Kevin to get involved with it. So he got involved with part four and we stepped it way up. So we did another one. And this time we agreed that rather focusing on the super kids, let's create characters whose lives are affected by the super kids. Thus, Rock. Rock is a former super kid who has aged out of his powers because in this Cusetown universe, their powers don't last forever. They're almost like fueled by innocence and as they become jaded by this world, they lose their super abilities. And Rock now is pretty much a wash up. He has a collection of baby's mamas and while bumming a ride to the gym, he stumbles on OG Twin Bros evil plot and he ends up tasked with having to fight an army of clones. We had a lot of fun making that movie. We learned a lot. Yep. It was a bit of a mess. We overcame extreme obstacles. It was a rite of passage, as they say. Enter Mad Matt. Now, Mad Matt is obsessed with the super kids. He wants to be a super kid. He dreams about it. And as a matter of fact, he's delusional about it. He thinks he's a super kid. He thinks he has superpowers, but the reality is he doesn't. He's actually quite worthless. And he means well. Yeah, he means well. But he ends up doing more harm than good. No, 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 no. So sometime later, we started talking about concluding our little Cusetown universe we created. And we both agreed that if we were going to do one last story, it would have to be a grand finale of epic proportion. Hey, kids! And the more we discussed it, the more we started asking ourselves, how would the presence of super kids affect the police? <laughs> Thanks a lot, God damn it! Yeah, and so we basically ran with that idea and we wrote the most ambitious script ever for a micro-budget film. This is truth. This story would require police uniforms, police vehicles, helicopters, super kids battling in the middle of downtown, flying through alleys, smashing into buildings, oh, okay. buildings toppling over. It's insane. So ultimately, Officer Pigsley is the grand finale of a universe 10 years in the making. 